Welcome to part one of this canoe build. Before we get here, we have some plans to go over, we have some layout to do, and we have a mold to make. Let's get started. Got all my straight cuts done and they're ready for the bandsaw. I also cut out some 5 inch wide pieces. Some at 16, some at 12, and some at 8. Each of these will pair up with one of the station templates of the corresponding base width. And finally, I also cut a bunch of these out. Let me show you how it all goes together. Template. And that should make for a sturdy mold.
Alright, so I'm just I'm just about done securing all these uh, station templates here. Um, I saved the last one for you, so I'll get a little close up here. I'm just uh, using a brad nailer to secure them in, and if they need a little adjustment, I'm gonna pull a string line on it and make sure they're all lined up. Um, but the you know with just the brad nailer in there. Um, I'll be able to smack it with a hammer and adjust it a little bit if I need to. But at least they're all in place. And if I choose to screw them, um, I can run a couple of screws through. So uh, check it out. Alright, 
right, so I got a string line set up just to make sure all these templates are centered. Um, you know, there's a couple ways you can go about this. The way I have it set up, obviously the string is being fouled on these upper templates just because it, it's the string's higher in the middle and it's lower on these sides. Um, another way you could do it is to raise the string up so it's not really touching anything and then to use like a square or a straight edge on each of these lines and see where it, and check each one in relationship to the string. See, but I just did it like this and then if you come down and then you can sight the string all the way down. And if your string is straight, then you're good. Well, that's gonna wrap up part one of this build. Thanks for watching. If you feel like subscribing and seeing where this channel goes, you can go ahead and do so below. I know some of you may not have found this to be the most entertaining, but I think there are those of you who find the layout process and prep work involved in a build like this interesting. Be sure to check out part two of this series where we get into the actual construction of the canoe. The links for my Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon account are in the description below. If you would like to check out any of my builds in real time, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Jeff the California Craftsman. There I will have up-to-date photos on current projects. I am open to any ideas or constructive criticism in regards to the content and the way it is being presented on this channel. So send an email, write a comment, just go easy on me. If you stuck around this long, once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.